Hello, this video, uh, the video that we're going to be doing now is really designed for the senior dental students or the junior dental students who are working in the, in the various clinics. Uh, this is something that I've uh, recognized uh, by working with the students from the University of Florida at our, at our facility here at the health department and uh, some of the things that I wanted to share with you are, are uh, some ideas that are going to be useful for you uh, as a student but then also uh, to carry with you into private practice. Uh, the idea is uh, what to do uh, when your faculty uh, come into your operatory for a check uh, and then at the same time in the future when you yourself are in practice and that you're being called out of your operatory where you're trying to do your work to go down the hall to uh, check a, a hygienist or check a dental assistant on the work that they're doing and uh, how you can uh, do this, uh, to do these checks, to uh, and uh, help uh, those folks, but also being able to keep yourself on task in your own in your own operatory. So, one of the things that I wanted to do was to share with you these ideas of uh, getting in, uh, helping uh, helping other people to get their work done quickly, and then at the same time, when you're in practice, uh, have other people to help you. And in this case. Uh, to uh, with regards to your faculty member. So the idea being, I understand that when uh, you're treating a patient, particularly in the operative clinic, uh, that you're going to have to have some checks. That they're going to, the faculty's going to want to check things along the way. And so what my uh, encouragement for you would be is that when, you're op when your faculty member comes into your operatory, and they are going to be checking, you're going to give them a start check or a, a, a answer a question that you may have, something along this line, that the more prepared you are for that person, for the faculty member, the quicker they can get in, the quicker they can uh, answer your questions or, or do the work that they need to do, and then the quicker they can leave. And the advantage of that is that if everyone in the clinic, if all the students in the clinic um, will facilitate or try to help their faculty, the faculty can get around to the students in a quicker way. And that's uh, part of the goal. The other part of the goal is that if you will do this for your faculty members uh, and become comfortable with it, what's going to happen is that when you get out into practice, you can train your assistant, you can train your hygienist to be able to do the same thing, the thing that you're doing as a student. And what's going to happen is, is that as you're working in your operatory, you're doing uh, denture, re restorative, crown bridge, something like that, and you're going to be busy doing your work, and then all of a sudden you're going to get a signal of some kind that you're going to have to leave, and you're going to have to go down the hall, and you're going to have to visit with a hygienist and check their uh, sealant patient or check their, doing a periodic exam or doing some kind of examination. But it, the bottom line is you're being called away from your work. Now, you do have to do that other work, we understand that, but you're being called away from really what you're all about at that moment. So, when you leave, you don't want to be gone very long. So, one of the things that you can do is train your people to be prepared for you when you come into your space or in, when you come into their space, that they are ready for you, they will they help you understand why you're there, that you can get in, you can do the work that you have to do for them, uh, the check or whatever, and then you can leave and then you can go back to your own operatory and get back about the business that you're, that you're there for, uh, for your appointment. And so, here's a couple things to keep in mind. When your faculty come in the operatory, when they come into your space, they're going to wash their hands, they're going to be putting on their barrier protection, they'll be putting on their gloves, things of this nature. And as they're coming in, the thing that you should do is to get ready for them. Now, what do I mean by that? Have the patient laid back in the chair. Uh, have the light turned on. The best thing to do uh, to help you quickly is have the light turned on and then have the light shining just below the chin. Then when the, when the doctor comes in and is ready to sit down, what you're going to do is you'll grab the mirror and explore because almost always the doctors want the mirror and explore and that you're going to be holding the mirror and explore about like this. You'll hold it out at the end of the instrument. Don't hold it in the middle on both hands. Remember that, that the mirror is going to be going basically at the head of the patient and the explorer is going to be going at the chin of the patient. 
So you orient these instruments not to the doctor, but orient these, patient, these instruments to the patient. So that way, whether your doctor is left-handed or right-handed, that doesn't really matter because you're always going to orient the instruments to the patient. And then when the doctor reaches out his or her hands for the instruments, you'll always be in the right position. So as they come in, they're going to put their, clothes, uh, their gloves on and their, their uh, mask, whatever. They're going to be putting these things on. You're going to be here waiting. And when they come in and sit down, you're ready for the instruments. But the other thing is that they don't really know why you've called them in to be with them. It may be a start check, it may be a prep check, it may be uh, that you are having some kind of a difficulty and you want their advice. So as soon as they come in and they sit down, tell them why you've called them into your space. So you would say, if you're, let's say it's tooth number 14, you're doing an MO composite and you need a prep check. So what you would say is something very simply. Tooth number 14, MO prep check. Now your doctor immediately knows what they're there for. They are going to have the instruments because you're going to place them into their hand. As soon as you do place them into their hand to facilitate them doing their work, what you'll then do is that you'll pick up the air water syringe and that you will dry the tooth off. Because a dry tooth, they can see what they need to see better with a dry tooth and a wet tooth. So dry the tooth off, take the light, and turn the light up so that it shines into the patient's mouth and adjust the light for the doctor. With that, the doctor will have the instruments. They can see very clearly. Uh, the light will be on. They can do what they're supposed to do. They know what they're supposed to do because you told them. And then they're going to say, okay, thank you very much. They'll make their comments. Uh, they'll give you the instruments back and, they'll, and then they'll be uh, ready to move on to the next uh, student that's asking for them. And so by you doing this, along with everybody else in the clinic doing this, you'll find that your doctors will be able to get around to the clinic, uh, all the people in the clinic, much, much, uh, uh, much more quickly. And that's a good thing for you, that, that the next time you call for them, you're going to find that they won't be away very long before they're here they are back again at your space. So by you facilitating for them, that you're actually helping them, but you're also helping yourself and all of your classmates also. Another idea, though, is that to take everything that we've just said about what you're going to be doing with your faculty, that when you get out into practice, you're going to teach your assistants, you're going to teach your hygienists to do the exact same thing. So that when you get a call to go down the hall to check, do a check, when you get there, because you've trained your staff, when you get there, they're going to be ready for you. They'll hand you the instruments, they'll turn the light on, they'll dry the teeth, they'll tell you why you're there, and that you're going to do what you do, you get it done, and then you're able to immediately come back to your own operatory to be able to continue with your appointment. So, with this, it's a win-win for everybody. The faculty win, you win, your classmates win, and then down the road uh, in the future, your hygienists and your patients are going to win because you're going to be able to get the work done and uh, also be able to get back to your own job. So I hope this has been helpful for you. It's just a thought that has uh, been with me for a while, uh, principally by watching uh, students as they come into our uh, rotation. So thank you very much.